It is said that the North Wind created the Vikings. They spread out around Scandinavia and went on to raid and sack much of Europe. Vikings are normally thought of as big, scary brutes, but they got up to some weird stuff when they were running things. Here are the strangest facts about Vikings. Number 10. When someone goes berserk, we have an idea of what that means. The word berserk comes from the berserker Vikings. These were warriors forged from shamanic ceremonies who took on the power of various animals. This was done through animal totems, which are magical objects imbued with the attributes of various animals. The Berserker Vikings would get hopped up on psychedelic mushrooms and booze and then march into battle butt naked except for a loincloth. Cannibalism does make an appearance in the Berserker ritualistic practices, and there's no doubt from extant records that Berserkers would uh, partake in human flesh. Pop quiz, hotshot! The Vikings have influenced many things we still do today. Can you guess what current sport was made popular by the Vikings? See if you can put the right answer in the comments below, and I'll let you know later on in the video if you're right. Number 9. The blot is an Old Norse word for sacrifice. The blood kind. Vikings loved sacrifices. It was one of their favorite things to do. They didn't have bored badger videos back then, so they had to fill their time with something. They had a lot of rules around sacrifices, and you had to kill someone or something ritualistically. The sacrifice would usually be an animal or one of your captured enemies. It was crazy important to Viking culture, and it would take place four times a year. This was around the days of winter solstice, spring equinox, summer solstice, and the autumn equinox. It's a little gruesome, but what you do is kill the victim, boil the body in a huge fire pit, and then smear their blood on the walls, on the statues of the gods, and everyone who was there. Afterwards, everyone would gather around the blood cauldron to enjoy a nice meal with the gods and the elves who would show up too, I guess. A big cup of blessed alcohol would then be passed around the circle for everyone to take a drink. And ironically enough, they would toast to peace and harmony. <laughs> Number 8. Well-groomed men with beards is nothing new, and Vikings were actually known for practicing good hygiene. Their grooming tools, in fact, were found to be one of the most used of all Viking tools. The apocryphal image of a Viking as a wild, dirty savage is mostly a myth. Before meals, water and towels were provided to wash hands. Baths and practical hygiene were the norm. People paid attention to their looks and hairstyles, even bleaching their beards. In fact, if you went back in time and walked through a Viking village and just looked at the men, you might think you were in Brooklyn. They were the original hipsters. Real life Vikings had golden locks and were fabulous. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number seven, the Vikings were pretty rough to those who crossed them. They had a nasty way to eliminate an enemy when they were captured. So they'd put a person face down and carve an eagle into their back and then cut out the ribs from the spine with an ax. Adding insult to injury, they would literally rub salt in the wound, which is where that expression comes from. Then they'd pull the ribs apart from the spine and apparently it looks like an eagle. Finally, the person's lungs were removed and put on top of the ribs. I'm not sure how, but Vikings totally thought it looked like an eagle and this served as a pretty strong warning not to mess with the Vikings. I'm getting a little nauseous just thinking about it, so let's move on. Number 6. A lot of modern day cities used to be Viking strongholds. York was a big Viking center and was called Jorvik. It means Wild Boar Creek. So New York City is an anglicized name that really means New Wild Boar Creek. That sort of thing happened to a lot of metropolises who've changed their names. And actually, a lot of things are named after Viking stuff. Like our days of the week are named after Norse gods. Thursday is Thor's day. Wednesday is Woden's day, who's Odin. In Old Norse, the word for Viking was used for anyone who would travel abroad to raid, trade, or explore. It's hard to separate who was a Viking and who wasn't in some regions. 
the King of England who unified the whole country was a Viking from Denmark. If you live in Ireland or the UK, there's a good chance your city is a renamed version of some old Viking settlement, like Dublin for example. Number 5. Nothing would look more shocking to a Roman Catholic soldier than a face-tatted Viking covered in pagan symbols. But did Vikings have tattoos? Your answer could be yes or no depending on which Viking movie or series you watch. And just like their Hollywood depictions, the anthropologists are also split. Some of the Swedish Vikings who raided Russia had tattoos, but it's hard to find tattoos when there's no skin left on the bones. Might not be a shock, but most Viking corpses these days are not in good shape. The Vikes found in Russia were buried under permafrost so their tattoos survived. But according to the evidence, the pros say most Vikings didn't have tattoos. However, 47% of Swedes today have tattoos. Most Scandinavians were not Vikings, so if you're a Scandinavian who's tatted up in homage to the ancestral tradition, then sorry to break it to you, but you're doing it all wrong. Number 4. It's answer time! Vikings literally worshipped skiing. Every soldier had a lot of downtime, and when possible, Vikings would ski for fun. They would use pine skis up to 2 meters long to travel and bomb hills. They love shredding the gnar! Skiing was invented in China, but the Vikings made it popular in the West. The word ski is even derived from Old Norse. Winter sports were such a pastime that you can find pictures and statues of their gods wearing skis. And without mountains or hills, they would make bronze skates to have fun on frozen lakes. Vikings were opportunistic and strategic attackers. Part of why they were so effective is because they could arrive on boats without a moment's notice. There's not a ton of evidence for this, but some experts think Vikings could have also originated ski warfare. A gang of Vikings charging down a mountain with axes and skis is just about the most terrifying thing you can imagine. Number 3. Rune casting was the secret language of Odin, the Norse god. The god of Norse gods. The rune casters, normally women, could make big decisions depending on what the rune said. It's a method of divination where you dump out a bag of rune carved blocks on the ground. The face down rune blocks are ignored and the face up ones have significant meanings, which are then divined by the caster. Runes played an important part in communication, decision making, and faith. Vikings believed that runes could protect them from just about anything. Sometimes the runes were used in place of medical attention. And if runes didn't work, that was because the runes were wrong and they could just be rewritten. Isn't that convenient? Number 2. Have you ever heard anyone ask why a lot of Scandinavians are so tall and good looking? Well, after their Viking ancestors sacked a village, they'd keep the prettiest women as intimate servants. They were very active in human trade, but they kept the most attractive women for themselves to spawn more warriors. There are, for sure, many other reasons why Scandinavians look the way that they do, but partly it is because a lot of them were descended from horny Vikings and a chosen conquered mate. According to records, most Vikings preferred blondes. Number 1 Unique to all of Europe was the Vikings version of tooth modification. It's a recent discovery, a fear tactic responsible for countless wet britches. They would carve grooves in their front teeth and then color the indentations with dyes. I don't recommend it, but it definitely gives you a grisly smile. And with the red dye, you get the constant appearance that you were just feeding on raw flesh. But scientists are actually stumped on the real purpose for the groovy teeth and why the Vikings did it. A recent finding from a mass grave showed that they were executed in front of a live audience. Researcher David Score said, The purpose behind filled teeth remains unclear, but they could have been to frighten opponents in battle or to show their status as a great fighter. It does seem like it was kind of trendy. More skeletons keep showing up with carved out chompers. But the rest of Europe must not have got the memo. You'll have to leave the continent to find anyone else sharpening those biters. Thanks for watching, friends. Would you rather be a Viking or a pirate?
Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. See you next time.